what's up y'all this your girl miss maggie t and atlanta falcons nation if you're new to the channel i want you to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me but let's go ahead and start it off playoffs playoffs <laughs> uh, pretty much our slim little chance at that playoff berth is pretty much dead at this point um losing embarrassingly to the los angeles chargers last evening and um it brings us down to a 44 and 9 season record so yeah that's how that goes but let's go ahead and get into some key points here matt ryan matt ryan matt ryan matt ryan uh three interceptions in the second half um and especially that final interception that set up the game winning drive uh, made it the worst game of the season for Matt Ryan. Definitely. Um, we may have won this game if it wasn't for those interceptions. Uh, for you know, and two of them in the overall uh, final four minutes of the fourth quarter um, definitely made a difference in the game, and it led to ten points from the Chargers. You know, so. Despite that, though, the Falcons' um, defense continued to show um, being steady and, you know, consistent in um, improving. So, you know, good things going there right there. Um, but the offense, of course, they just really couldn't pull it through. And um, it just shows that there's a lot of holes within that offense, offensive line. Um, but let's go ahead and get some highlights from here, though. Um, it was Kevin Ridley. Kevin Ridley had 124 receiving yards and including one touchdown. He led the Falcons with about eight catches for 129 yards and a 39-yard touchdown catch. Of course, a throw from Russell Gage. Of course, he also finally met, uh, made a milestone that he kind of set for himself um, within this season, um, the 1,000-yard mark for the first time in his career. Yet, despite you know all those individual accomplishments, he definitely wasn't happy with the outcome of the game. As well as Russell Gage, who not only finished with 85 receiving yards, but also threw a 39-yard touchdown pass, of course. Um, and that was pretty much impressive I, I know that was exciting to see but yeah definitely was a terrible game um on Matt Ryan's behalf as well so but let's go ahead and get into um a few injury reports um looks like Marlon Davison's um season just kind of got a little bit tougher he did suffer a knee injury um that kind of much knocked him out of the game um but um, we hope that the injury isn't too serious. It hasn't been word on that yet. As well as Kevin Ridley did tweak his ankle or foot after a third down catch um, during the second half. Um, but he did return to the game. But it's evident that um, he's still fighting through that ankle injury. Uh, if it continues to kind of bother him, I, I, I expect the Falcons to kind of sit some of our starters out, especially, you know, Julio Jones and such um, for the rest of the, you know, season, because we're pretty much mathematically out of it anyway. So um, that's, that would be my, you know, I think that would be my best bet. You know, I think that's what they should go with, but we'll see how it goes. Um, knowing Julio, he probably not going to want to sit down, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. But on that note, that's pretty much all I got on, you know, that you know that just really wasn't a good game at all but until the next time this is miss maggie t at atlanta falcons nation of course if you are listening to my voice and you haven't subscribed to my channel shame on you <laughs> as well as go on over to my channel miss maggie t and hit a subscribe because I am going to be sending you guys, well, not sending, um, giving you guys additional um, news and updates on other teams as well as Hawks, Braves, etc. But you've kind of heard this speech a few times, so hopefully you guys are kind of piling in over there. I appreciate you guys for getting me, little old me, to 100 subscribes. You know, so, hey, every little step that counts, <laughs> I'll take it. But all right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys on this note. Hey. Hold your head up, Falcons fans. I'm glad y'all um, tuned in the after show. Um, that was fun to kind of get some of you guys' feedback. Appreciate that. We're going to bring that back um, 
every week as much as possible uh, whenever you guys just want to kind of get your voice out. But to the next time, this is Maggie T at Atlanta Falcons Nation, and we are the nation. I'm out. <laughs>